Hi guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm out of, um, so I've either been in Facebook quarantine or Facebook jail, not quite sure which, um, I feel like if I'm going to be put in Facebook jail, it's like your kids, you should tell me what I do wrong. So I don't do it again. And no one told me what I did wrong. So I think I might've been in quarantine, but, um, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. So, um, if you didn't know, uh, you get put in Facebook jail for breaking community standards and community rules. And I, as Jordan, so kindly posted for me, um, I'm a rule follower, so I'm not okay with breaking rules. Like I, it's just who I am. I have a really hard time. So, um, if that's why it just made her day because she knows I'm kind of a rule follower. Um, if it was for quarantine, it might've been because a couple of people I know, um, got hacked that day and I didn't click on any of their stuff. Uh, but they said they saw unusual activity on my account. So that's why. Um, so I'm super excited to be back. It paused our party a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take orders and continue the party through Sunday. Um, I had originally said Friday, but I don't know that that gives people enough time because I've gotten a few more orders <clears throat> while I was away. So um, let's go through Sunday. All orders do Sunday um, to support your hostesses. So uh, thank you for those of you who have already ordered. All of your product is actually already out the door. I carry inventory, so when you order something, as soon as you pay that invoice, it goes out. Um, so thank you. I am, I'm, I'm truly appreciative. Um, and I'm out of Facebook jail. Um, okay, so I thought I would just do a get ready with me and show you some tips and tricks with your some of your products that you've ordered. Um, and I thought I would start with color correcting tinted moisturizer. So most days I use a little bit of all three, the CCTM, the color correcting tinted moisturizer, a little bit of foundation, a little bit of pearlizer. I'm going to do the same today because that's just kind of my routine. Do you have to do that? No, I just want a little bit more coverage than what just the, the color correcting tinted moisturizer gives me, although it gives me great coverage. Um, so I just like to combine them all. You do not have to do that. Um, I also combine them all because I have access to the products at a very discounted rate. Um, so for me, like it just, it's easy. Um, and so I can use all three easily. So speaking of that, a couple of things, if you want to host a party, your person who invited you, your hostess, um, <clears throat> will get a free gloss when you host your party. Um, so let me know if you're interested and you can do an online party just like this. And then number two, uh, you can, if you're interested in, in a distributor, being a distributor or getting a discount, um, let me know um, and I can message you information. This month, last day is today, it's um, normally $55, it's only $25 for your annual fee. Um, and then it'll go back up to 55 your second year. Um, but then you get a discount on products. So just let me know. So I combined all three of those. I use my fingers. Lauren had emailed me or messaged me yesterday and said, how do you apply it? You can apply it with your fingers or you can apply it with this flat brush, like a little stipple brush. And so do whatever works for you. I tend to use my fingers because it's faster for me and it's pure laziness, which is what I told her. <laughs> I said, um, I just use my fingers. I probably use a little more product because some of that product, um, that's an eczema spot right there. Um, some of that product goes into my fingertips. <clears throat> so then what I do, it's water resistant and waterproof, right? Cause I had some foundation on here, which is waterproof and color correcting tinted moisturizer is water resistant. So it's gonna be on my hands unless I take it off. So I take antibacterial, and I just do that. Um, and then I just do that. And I wipe it off. Okay? So that's all there is to that. Hold on one moment. I'm going to open my window because it's kind of warm up here. Oh. 
So we are moving, I'm in Denver. We're moving into like the mornings are super crisp and super kind of fall-like. Um, days are still hot, but it is so refreshing. I absolutely love it. It's one of my, it's my favorite season for sure. Like my favorite season. Um, <clears throat> so, okay. So now I'm gonna take candlelight shadow sense. So this is a shadow and I'm just gonna put it underneath my eye as concealer. I'm gonna use a couple dots on my eye. And then I'm also gonna take just a touch of snow. And again, these set in about um, 45 seconds to a minute. So you don't have a lot of time to like, <clears throat> then goof around until you blend it or it'll stay where it's at. So um, then I blend it in. And so what that white does is that just brightens the under eye. And typically, a little tip for you, is when you're applying, um, when you are applying concealer, most of us will go right underneath our eye, but you actually want to go into a triangle underneath your eye rather than just directly under your eye. It's gonna brighten that whole space. <clears throat> and I might have put a little too more snow than I wanted, so I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of candlelight. So with our products, because they don't budge or smudge, um, if you ever want to change a color, it's best to go back in with a different color rather than um, trying to take it off because it's more, it's more difficult to get off. You need a makeup remover. So um, I'll show you. I'm sure I'll make a mistake today, and I'll get to show you that. So <clears throat> today I am giddy because I'm gonna use our new cafe collection, which is these three new colors right here. I mean, these are like my deal. They're so pretty, Americana, Cinnamon Shimmer, and French Roast. Matter of fact, I just ordered a few more because I, I, I know they're gonna sell out and I wanted to make sure I had enough for my customers, but also for me, because for myself, because I know that these are colors that I will wear all the time. So I'm gonna take <clears throat> Cinnamon shimmer, shimmer first, and I'm just gonna put a few dots on my eye. And if I get too much, I just transfer it over here. And I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm just using kind of this flat brush and I just sort of blend that into the corner and blend that out. And then I still had a little bit of product on my brush, but I need a little bit more over here. So I'm just gonna do a couple of dots over here. And I don't know about you, but my biggest challenge when I'm applying makeup is trying to get it to match um, between my eyes. Like I will nail on, like get one of them really good and then the other one doesn't really match. It's a story of my life. So I'm a little far over here than I would like, but I'll go fix it later with another color and just go over the top of it. So that is cinnamon sugar, or cinnamon sugar, cinnamon, cinnamon shimmer, <clears throat> okay? Um, now French roast, and actually I'm gonna use cinnamon I did this the other day and I really liked it. Um, I'm gonna actually use this for blush as well. So <clears throat> if you find a color that you can use for blush and eyeshadow, you can multi-purpose your product. You don't have to buy as much product. And if you travel, you only have to travel with one product, which is kind of handy. So this is gonna give me kind of that bronze color on my cheeks. Okay. Now, um, I'm contemplating, I'm not gonna do much more. I'm going to a class today. I'm taking a class today, so I'm like sitting in a class all day. So I'm gonna take a little bit of French Roast. Now this color, show it to you 
is like this beautiful kind of brown, but it has a purple. It's almost the color of my shirt, um, like a burgundy almost. And it's so pretty. I'm a big fan of this one. So I just take a little bit off the wand. And then I'm just going to tap it into the corners. And then I'm going to blend a little bit. So just very lightly blending that out. Okay. Then um, <clears throat> something I didn't do, which I usually do, is I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to my eyes because I kind of forgot to do that. So I just take a little bit of Mocha Java and I fill in my eyebrows to touch. Now I'm using the wand because it's almost gone. And so it's pretty easy to do that. And then what I do is I just take this guy and and sort of brush it out. I also use this side, this angled brush with Mocha Java, but it's just so almost gone that I don't have to do that right now. Um, okay, so then um, also for eyebrows, we have this, we have Brow Sense, and it's a little different. It comes in this little tiny brush, and you just brush it on, and then it has this on the end that you can brush out your eyebrows. So both are wax-free, so they're great because they're not going to come off your come off your face on a hot day. Um, okay, so now, oh my gosh, this breeze feels amazing. Like I have my window open. It's probably, what is it? Let's, I'll tell you what it is. It is, it is thinking is what it is doing. It is 56 degrees. Oh, I love fall. I was ready for fall. I don't know about you guys. Okay, I'm going to take um, Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. Um, <clears throat> and people in my VIP group, so I have a VIP group, so after this party, you are welcome to move over there. I'll share the link. Um, but, but everyone in my VIP group knows um, some of my favorite <laughs> brushes. This is an Aladdin brush I got at Walgreens or CVS when I was traveling because I forgot my brushes. And um, turns out Walgreens and uh, the Aladdin collection makes a killer brush. Um, I just absolutely adore it. So see how I just kind of put that up by my brow. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Um, so you guys, a little bit goes a long way. Um, these won't crease. Uh, but if they start creasing, it means you're using too much. So it's a little tip. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put some down here. And when you put a light color on the corner of your eye, it will help brighten your under eye and sort of open your eyes. So especially if you have narrow eyes, um, it's a good little trick to sort of open up your eye. Okay, so that is the new Cinnamon Shimmer and French Roast, which I am in love with. French Roast, or Cinnamon sh Shimmer on my cheeks. Um, <clears throat> today I thought I would show you, I was trying to decide, um, our eye pencils. So we have eyeliner that's liquid and then we have eye pencils. Um, the pencils are just that. They have a little pencil at the top and then they've got, um, they just come right out. They're wax free. So it's a pencil that is wax free so it's not going to melt on your face. So I'm not very good with pencils. I usually use liquid but I'm going to do it on my mirror here and, and sort of show you. See if I can do it with you seeing. And if you caught my vis video before, yeah, I'm just not very good with pencils. Um, if you caught my video before, I have tattooed eyeliner. So the reason my eyes already have a little bit of liner on them is because it's permanent. 
which by the way if you're in Denver I got a lady she's amazing um, and does a fabulous job I did these years ago and I haven't had them touched up in years um, but I highly recommend them so okay so now I'm gonna top off with just a little bit I did everything else right hmm, I did so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of our powder and put powder on if you are oily this is a great little dispenser because you can pop this in your purse and then off you go for the day and you can use that powder when you start to get a little oily and then we also have it in bronze and we have it in silver rose so <clears throat> I'm gonna take the bronze or the bronze since I use cinnamon over there okay um, and now I'm gonna do my mascara so our mascara I'm going to use our, um, it grows your lashes in 43% longer in four weeks. So if you're a Latisse user, if you get extensions and you want a drug free option, I would highly recommend this. Um, this is our primer. So this is um, going to condition your lashes and keep them soft and not brittle. Um, you don't have to use it. I don't use it every day. I'm using it today because I have a longer day ahead of me. And then I'm going to use our waterproof, and this is in black, and it's going to go, um, I'm actually going to cheat. You don't have to do this either, but this is what I've loved lately. This is our water resistant in black. Um, so what I've been doing is putting a little bit of the water resistant on, because I like the way the brush lifts my eyelashes. Um, and that's what I think was so cool about these products is that you can use them for so many different uses and you can layer them and you can just have some fun with them. Um, but now I'm using waterproof over the top. You totally don't have to do that, but I am. Okay. So there we go. Let me make sure all that primer is covered. And then I just need, I'm just seeing a little bit over here that just needs to be, so it's already, here's the challenge. It's already set, right? Watch. It's set, like it's not coming off. I already had some stuff on my fingers there. Let's try it with these, watch. Like it's not going anywhere. So I noticed I need to just blend that a little bit better. So we're going to just do that really quickly. Um, and I think rather than blending in, I can probably fix it with just a little bit of candlelight. So I'm just going to take a little bit of candlelight. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same over here. Okay, and now I fixed it. So rather than taking it away, I just added to it with some candlelight. Um, okay, so now we need a lip color. Nothing too crazy. I was gonna do plum, but I think my eyes are a little more dramatic today. So like I said, I'm going to sit at some training, so I probably don't need anything too crazy. Um, I did wanna show you, so Jordan for me, she posted the new Cafe Collection Lip Scents. There's two glosses and two colors. This is one of them, Espresso. So Espresso came out <clears throat> two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Um, and it's like this creamy chocolate color. It's so pretty. So mine could be, you know, it hasn't been made in a couple of years. So mine could be a shade off, but it's pretty. I've seen some pictures of people wearing it so far and it's pretty darn close. That's that chocolate. It's just a chocolate matte shade. Really pretty. Great for fall. Um, so that's coming. I ordered that and it's on its way. The other one's called Creamer. And it looks like it is a shade lighter. Well, it looks like it's a, sh a different shade than First Love, but it's a really neutral, um, like the color of Creamer. So um, we'll have to see what that one's like. I'm really intrigued by that one because First Love, I can't really wear. You'll see my lip color is rather, it's a little bit darker, the pigment on, on, my, um, on my lips. And so 
first love as a color I can't really like I can put it on and you wouldn't even know I had it on um, so I'm I'm curious to see what creamer is like okay okay my lips are clean and dry um so I'm sort of thinking I'm sort of thinking, I'm sort of thinking I might line and blend these two. Um, some days, you guys, the choices are just too many. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I wanna go with a light lip today. So we have a couple of colors. We have Bravo and we have Cappuccino. I think I'm going to do cappuccino, just a really nude lip today, but I am going to take nude um, lip scents and I'm going to line with that color. It's just like this light brown color. So you can line with liners that you can purchase or you can line with colors. And that's the beauty of this, is that you can do either. Okay, I'm doing this without my mirror, which is always a little sketchy. Okay. So I lined once. I'm going to line a second time. People will say, do you have to line like three layers, like reg regular lift sense, and you don't. Okay. So I basically just did the entire lift color, that color, because I really was liking it. So now we're just going to go here and here. So we just did kind of two layers of nude lip sense. Now we're going to do, I was thinking either cappuccino or Bravo. I think I'm going to go cappuccino only because I wear it better. Um, Bravo is a little too light for me as well. Like it doesn't show up. I always have to layer it with another color. Um, so as this dries, it's getting like tacky and you want to keep your lips apart. If you stick them together, they will stick together. So, um, oh, I haven't opened this one. I just swapped out all my testers and this one I hadn't opened yet. Okay. Here's cappuccino. Okay, so there's kind of three layers. I didn't quite get three layers like in on this bottom lip, but that's okay. I'm going to do one more layer of this cappuccino. It's still not dry, uh, but I am really liking that color. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I love cafe. Like I love browns and chocolates and, but I love purples too. So, okay. I got to go to a meeting at eight. I got to pop off here in a minute. Okay. There is a combo of these two. So this is nude lip sense. This is cappuccino. I combined the two. <clears throat> okay. Now what I do is I like to Let's see what I have up here. I like to kiss off, make sure everything's dry, which it is. Um, and then I'm going to put, only because this is what I have up here, I'm looking to see what glosses I have. So this is just a pink glitter gloss, and it's almost gone actually. So I'm just going to use that because that's what I have up here. 
and it is just a subtle glitter. Nothing too crazy. It's called pink glitter. Um, we have a gold glitter and a silver glitter, and then we have an ultra glitter or ultra gold. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So there it is. I'm out of Facebook quarantine or Facebook jail, and um, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Uh, my plan is orders through Sunday for the parties. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, feel free to message me on Facebook because when I was in quarantine, I couldn't, um, I couldn't message, I couldn't post, I couldn't like, I couldn't um, comment, but I can get to my messenger. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday and it's Labor Day weekend. So I hope you have a fabulous weekend and we will talk soon. Okay, bye.